What do we have here? Another delicious evidence of cucketry on Reddit. Well, not really cucketry, more like slurs getting what they want and then crying about it. The title of the story, my mother who's 41, who I, 18 year old female, so the author is an 18 year old female. My, my 41 year old mother, I cut out of my life because she cheated on my dad, called me crying because I'm going to the, be the maid of honor for his fiance who's 29. Okay. So a 38 year old man got cheated on by his wife in her forties and he, they divorced and he found a new woman who's 29. That's, that's decent. That's decent. You're trading in a woman in her forties for a woman in her twenties. That's, that's definitely an upgrade in every sense of the word is an upgrade. Now, if you betray her when she's 40 and she did nothing to deserve it no, I'm not cool with that. But if she cheated on you, that at once, once a wife, once a woman, once a girlfriend, fiance, once they cheat on you, betrayal can never be forgiven. That relationship is over. It's dead. Move on. You're a single man. So his, this dude's ex in her forties is crying because his eight, because her 18 year old daughter's friends with his younger, with her, her dad's younger fiance. This is going to be delicious. I can already taste the consequences of horish actions from here. Let's see what happens. About four years ago, when I was 14, I found out my mother cheated on my father. I immediately told him, and this basically led to their divorce. And y'all say 14 year old girls are all evil. I like this one. This one's got some potential. Ha <laughs> ha. Lots of claps. Thank you for your service in exposing hoes. Anybody who exposes hoes is a friend of mine. Thank you, young child. Let's see what happens next. My mother was self-centered and abusive towards my father during their marriage. Oh, big surprise. That's like probably most marriages because she realizes, or maybe it's ingrained in her. Maybe it's just the culture of how wives are shown to act towards husbands, how wives are allowed to act towards husbands. The cops are on their side. They have all the power in marriage, and so they feel free to abuse their husbands. Because not so long ago, there was a tool that men had that they could deploy against their wives. So they wouldn't get abused. But now, if they go anywhere near opening that toolbox, the pigs get called, and you get three 9mm warning shots to the back of the head. So abusive 40-year-old woman cheats on their man. And they get divorced. So she was also barely involved in my life as a mother. My father was with me every step I took and was always there for me in my upbringing. So he sounds like a good dad. Her infidelity basically crossed the line for me. She destroyed whatever was left of us as a family. I don't, I didn't want her in my life anymore. My father was granted full custody by my request in the divorce. Okay. So 15, she's probably like 15 when this went down, the divorce was finalized. Can you imagine being a, a enlightened feminist, abusive, narcissist slore who cheats on your loyal husband and at the divorce court when you think you can get the best payout of your life, your 15 year old daughter goes, hey, uh, can, can, I don't want to live with a slore. Uh, can I live with my dad? Ooh, I bet, I bet that, I bet that used street meat cried so much that night. <laughs> my daughter left me. <laughs> My daughter betrayed me. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, I'm a happy man today. I like this story. This is a good bedtime story. I should read this every night to the young red pill brutus who are scared of the, the demons of fat war pigs off Ribby's TikToks and they can't go to sleep because of the nightmares. I'll just read them the story. It's like a good lullaby. Anyhow, back to the story. So, uh, my father was granted full custody by my request in the divorce. I pretty much cut my mother out of my life apart from some texting. She isn't involved in my life and that's how I want it to be. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's also unfortunate is, uh, I think someone's trying to get at my door. So, um, let me, let me take care of that first. Oh, the hell? What's going on? Oh, wait. Oh, I don't want to buy your Girl Scout cookies. I don't want to buy your Girl Scout cookies. No, I don't want them. What, they're zinc flavored? I really don't want them. Zinc flavored Girl Scout cookies, bro. I don't even know. These chicks out here. But Becky wants them. Back to this. She isn't involved in my life, and that's how I want it to be. Good. 
Seems like this girl has some strong morals and ethics. About a year after my parents separated, my father met his current fiance, who I was fully supportive of the relationship because it was great to see my father happy with someone who just cared as much about him as he does about her. Well, I mean, she's 29, so she's an age upgrade, and she treats him nice, and the daughter can see it. I think this is all, I think this is all pro. This is good. Things are looking up. Let's see what else. For the past three years, my dad's fiance pretty much grew up to be my best friend. Okay, so this is three years ago. A year after they separated. So four, yeah, so this dude was 35 and met his 26-year-old fiance. The amount of seethe that this 40-year-old woman was experiencing, watching this from the distance. <laughs> oh, it's delicious. Fucking delicious. This is only a tenth of the pain she deserves, honestly. So, uh, my dad's fiance grew up to be my best friend. She has been involved, supportive, and helped me so much from the start. And that's what a woman does if she really loves her husband, her partner. She loves her husband, her partner. She'll love his offspring because that's part of him. She has been able to support me in different ways that my father has and, have been help and has helped me greatly. She has definitely been my female role model in my life, and I can say that I have true love for her. Oh, <laughs> oh, she's a better mother than your actual mother. She and my father are having their wedding this summer. She asked me to be her maid of honor, and I love it. But out of nowhere, my mother found out about this. Well, because she probably knows somebody who got the invitation. Or she's stalking them on social media under a fake account. She's still torturing herself years later. Look, 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 post wall woman. You ripped your family apart so you could be a whore. You chose the life of a zinc walker. You chose the life of a contemptuous, promiscuous woman. You can't go back. You might as well enjoy it. Go get knocked up by six-year-old chads in nursing homes. Go be a cougar for a couple years. You only got a couple years left on the odometer. You might as well take full advantage of it. But this whole family life that you thought was secure, it's over. You don't deserve that. You never deserved that. Ever. And it's never coming back. I still have low contact with my mother, but we do text a bit. I did not tell her anything about this, but somehow she found out. She called me crying, saying it would break her heart if I were to be the maid of honor at their wedding. Oh, I'd be so upset if you supported your father's marriage to a woman that actually loves him. Uh, break my heart. I know I cheated on him, but don't break my heart. You don't have, you don't have a heart. You don't have a heart. You don't. Stop LARPing as if you have a heart. You only have a heart towards yourself and the next dude going in your pussy hole. So why should I care about how you feel? You didn't care how about my dad felt. You didn't care about how I felt. But now I should care about how you feel. It's the same kind of message the leftoids have when they come at me saying, oh, but if you make fun of us, there might be a, a Zer somewhere who does a triple backflip and nooses himself. Um, you write articles all day about how white people are evil. All day you write articles about how white people are evil. You don't care about how I feel. Do you think I give a single pile of steaming Chipotle-fueled corn-filled shit about you? I don't. Uh, do a flip. I mean, do a flip and stream it. Because then at least I could laugh. But don't come at me thinking that I should care about how you feel when you want me to Minecraft myself. Get the fuck out of here. Use those arguments on women. Use those arguments on weak white male cuckolds white leftists you might have a better chance convincing them but me wait let me check my testicles are intact and i care about myself and my lineage so get fucked uh tension aside let's get back to this story she says she went she called me crying said it would break her heart if i was a maid of honor at their wedding she went on a rant that she will always remain my mother and nothing is going to change about that I just told her that I didn't know what to answer. I 100% support my dad's fiance and I want to be her maid of honor. I want to make it clear to my mother that she has no say in what I do, but I really don't know how to go about this. How can I make it clear that she has no say in my life without necessarily cutting her off completely? Just block her. But what does she bring to your life? Just block her. 
She's trying to manipulate you. She's trying to abuse you like she abused your father. Let's see what else we have in the chats here. Yeah. And comments. It's all right. That's a great. That's a great story. Here's evidence that uh, teenage girls aren't all slore bags, and sometimes they can be quite based. 